Hello and welcome to episode 3 of Learning Lua. Today we're going to be going over the three main different ways that you can edit a Lua file. The first way is online web-based, the second is downloading it on your computer, and the third way is using Roblox Studio. Let's get into it. The first web-based option is Replit. It's replit.com slash languages slash Lua. I chose this because you can code how you normally can code in Lua locally. It's web-based, it has a really good console, and you can have input. So if I like make a project and it requires you to type things in, you can do it in the beautiful console it has, and it runs really, really good. The second way is downloading it on your computer. You can download it from github.com slash rjpcomputing slash lua for windows and then you go to releases and on the latest you're going to download the lua for windows.exe this is what i've used just going off of personal experience as of the beginning of 2022 and then you're going to open the .exe and then you're going to go through the login process and then once you finish installing it you should have lua and then uh, it should be an app and then you can like print hello world and that's a simple way to do it and then I have like VS code over here and then I can use VS code with command prompt this is how I run it in my uh, previous tutorials you can do Lua because you've installed Lua and then you're gonna type in the name of your file so like for example guessing game and then dot Lua don't forget the extension but first you have to cd into it, so you have to change your directory and your command prompt to basically where your file is stored, then run it, and then you could make your guess. And then that is the command prompt way. The third and final way that I have for today is doing it by Roblox Studio. So you're going to go to roblox.com slash develop. After you've made your account, you go down to developer resources and then click on studio. And then it should download Roblox Studio Launcher. You're going to open that. And then it should install and become up to date. And then you're going to log in. And then you're going to create a classic base play. Great. Now that you're into Roblox Studio, you go under Workspace. And then create a script. You can name the script whatever you want. It's basically like your file. So I can name it Lua File. And then a smiley face. And now here I can do whatever I want. So I could do vars. I can run a function. So like function hi. But then I can make a local function. So local function hi print. Yo. And then I can run hi. And then if you click on view and then click output. Here's basically like your output console line. So then you're going to click home underneath play click run and then it basically shows you your world and then it will say hello world and yo and then it like basically tells you where everything is i like this because you can save it locally and access it over the cloud so you can do it from computer to computer also you can work on things with your friends and you can make games with this it's a really cool thing Thanks so much for tuning in today. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn notifications on for future tutorials in the series. See you in episode 4.